In this video, we have to solve a quadratic equation by completing the square. So we have 5x squared minus 75x minus 30 equals 0. So before we complete the square, it's really important that the coefficient of x squared is 1. So we'll start by dividing everything by 5. When we do that, we end up with x squared. 75 uh, over 5 is 15. And then 30 over 5 is 6. And then 0 over 5 is 0. The next step in completing the square is to make sure that you only have x's on one side. So we'll add the 6 to the other side. So x squared minus 15x, and that's equal to 6. All right, here's the hard part. Whenever you're completing the square, you always take the coefficient of x, in this case it's negative 15, you divide it by 2 and you square it every single time. So we look at negative 15 over 2 and we square it. So negative 15 squared is 225, 2 squared is 4. So now we're going to add this to both sides of our equation. Okay. So you always take this number divide it by 2 and square it and add it to both sides. So we get x squared minus 15x plus 225 over 4. Then here we get 6 plus 225 over 4. Okay, in order to deal with this right-hand side here, we need to think of 6 as a number over 4. So I'm going to come over here and do the math because we need to add these fractions. So 6 plus 225 over 4. This is really 6 over 1, so we have to multiply it by 4 over 4. So that's 24 over 4 plus 225 over 4. So that's going to be 249 over 4. Oh, that's so, so small. 249 over 4. Yeah, 249. So 249 over 4. Right, 249 over 4. On this side here, this will always magically factor, okay, every time. The trick is it's always an x and a parenthesis and a 2. You keep the sign, and then you just simply divide this by 2, so 15 over 2. And that's equal to 249 over 4. Now to finish, you take the square root of both sides and use the square root property. So you get x minus 15 halves equals the square root of 249. And the square root of 4 is 2. And you always put a plus or minus. To finish, you just add the 15 halves. So x is equal to 15 halves plus or minus square root of 249 over 2. And that's it. I hope that made sense. This was a pretty tough problem.